Welcome to Madison Square Garden for the 1974 heavyweight title elimination bout between Joe Frazier and Jerry Quarry right here on ESPN Classic. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our featured attraction of the evening, 12 rounds heavyweight elimination match. Tonight's heavyweight boxing match is under the jurisdiction and supervision of the New York State Athletic Commissioner. The three commissioners are present. They are Chairman Edwin B. Dooley, Commissioner Kenneth Sherwood, and Commissioner Manuel Gonzalez. Your judges for the main event are Artie Idala and Jack Gordon. And ladies and gentlemen, the referee for the main event, the greatest, from Detroit, Michigan, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis, the referee. Getting a standing ovation from this huge crowd in Madison Square Garden. Beautiful picture there. They won't stop applauding. Attaboy, Joe. Tremendous ovation, and he deserves it. You can tell what a fine crowd we have here tonight. And now, fighting out of New York City, wearing green and white trunks, weighing in at 197 and one half pound, the number three ranked heavyweight in the world, and winner of his last six bouts in a row, Irish Jerry Quarry. There's Charlie, his wife. And his opponent from that colorful city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tonight wearing beach trunks, weighing in at an even 212 pounds, the former heavyweight champion of the world and the number two ranked contender, Smoking Joe Fraser. Both boys got a tremendous ovation. But interspersed with uh, Fraser's introduction were a few boos, which is natural. Joe Lewis giving the instructions. No, no, break when I say break. Don't hit on the break. You keep the punches up. Good luck to both of you. Scoring in New York on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. There is a mandatory eight count. Round one. The three knockdown rule is in effect. If a man floored three times, he is considered knocked out. If a man is brought at or near the ringing of the bell, he must arise by the count of ten. Frazier forcing the action. Quarry counter-punching. Frazier won their previous bout in 1969 on a seven-round knockout because of a bad cut, but he overwhelmed Quarry that night. Let's see what happens this evening. Quarry the green trunks. Frazier in the pink trunks. Frazier's devastating punch is his left hook. Quarry is a good counter puncher. Both hands. Two minutes left in round one. Quarry has landed some hard head punches. A vicious right by Frazier. Lewis breaks them.
you're complaining about a low blow. Frazier and Quarry comes over to apologize. Frazier complains for a low blow. Quarry apologized and still threw one in that was low. It may be that kind of a fight. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the bell, and they, they battle at the bell. Coming up to round two. Now Corey is starting to box. Razor on top of him. making Quarry fight his fight. Quarry is fighting without a mouthpiece. No, Don has a mouthpiece. He's cut in the middle. Double mouthpiece. cut over his right eye. Quarry has a light cut over the right eye. It's been a fairly even fight so far, even though I think Frazier had a good round two. I thought Quarry had a good round one. Here's the corner, Eddie Fudge working on uh, Joe Frazier. Frazier getting out there. Eddie Fudge is new manager with the passing of Yank Durham. Round three, Jerry Quarry, the green trunks, Joe Frazier, the pink. Scheduled for 12, Frazier forcing the action. Quarry wants to stay away, Frazier won't let him. <laughs> Quarry's holding back the right hand when he has openings for it. Heavy. 
Wari working the body a lot. Another low blow. And another low blow. Mike Wari. In fairness to Quarry, I think Frazier's trunks are pretty high. A minute to go in the round. seconds to go in the round. There's Mrs. Quarry, Charlie. There's the bell in the ground three. In Frazier's corner, we have Eddie Futch, Milt Bailey, and Dr. John Thompson. In Quarry's corner, Gil Clancy as manager, Ernie King and Howard Albert. We're ready now for round four. Former heavyweight champion, Joe Lewis, the referee. Round four. And Frazier has taken charge. be gasping for breath. One minute to go in round four. Angelo thinks that uh, Quarry's legs are rubbery now, and so do I. Punch. 
Round almost over. They're in Quarry's corner. Quarry goes down. The bell. The, the round is over. He's taking the mandatory eight count, but he's up now. The round is over, and he can go to his corner. Quarry was down. What do you think of that, Angelo? I'm surprised the bell didn't ring. The round was over. And well, the ring lights uh, lit up. Yeah, the ring lights lit up, thank heaven. Uh, I saw Jerry's legs starting to go out from underneath them, Don. Dr. Dr. Harry Kleiman, the uh, commission doctor, is over in Quarry's corner looking at him. In Quarry's corner. Let's look at this punch here. Look at that left. That's when Quarry started down. Another angle. Kazoom, what a punch that was. We're ready for round five. Frazier running out to finish his man if he can. tried real hard. Remarkable fight. Just as great as, better than that first fight. It was a great, great fight. I think that Joe Fraser showed the world he wanted it real badly. And that the fights that he lost to George Foreman and to Muhammad Ali were one of the, they lost the two best heavyweights in the world. I think it was an outstanding fight. Joe did a good job stopping One minute, 37 seconds of the fifth round. The referee stopping the contest, the winner. Smoking Joe Fraser. I'm Don Dunphy up in the ring, and I'm going to get Joe Fraser over to our microphone. Joe, congratulations. I want to say you look like the smoking Joe of old. Thank you, Joe. Don, I went back to the old ways. I found out something was round that I couldn't realize. Remember what it is, but you it's found stamina out. and take more time in the gym. Uh, I'll I'm be back, and I'm hoping that these guys would sign the contract so I can get another shot at the title. Oh, you deserve it. Thank Let you. me say this, Joe. I thought you used your right hand more tonight than you usually do. That's right. The right hand that cut Jerry. Cut him real bad. Cut and him. I backed up because I seen him here cut so bad, but I guess nobody saw that but me. How about that low blow in the first round? Well, it was a block shot. It wasn't what? intention. No, I know it wasn't intention, but it must have hurt. Well, I felt it, believe me. <laughs> Joe, I want to congratulate you. Uh, I don't know if we can get a replay here. I would like to and uh, let you see uh, how you looked on our... Uh, we, we'll, uh, we'll talk for just a second, Joe, while we're setting up the scene here. One man I'd like to give credit to, you know, who had really spent a lot of time and he worked me like a dog. Eddie Fudge. So, yeah, sometimes I... 
try to realize why you're working me so hard. But, Eddie, uh, come on in here and say I hello. Eddie Futch, you took over a tough job when Yank Durham yes, passed away, and we know what Yank meant to Joe. Now I think you mean just as much to Joe. Well, that, that, that means a lot to me. It means that much to Joe. Uh, did, you, did you plan anything different? Yes, we planned to use more right hands against Poirier this time. You did. Uh, we knew that he would be looking for the left hook all the time, so we planned uh, to use more right hands to, to make the left hook more effective. And it, and it turned out it worked that well. Joe, uh, do you think Foreman or Ali, they're going to fight in September? Well, oh, wait, wait, Joe, let's see. We have the last round, Joe. Let's right. take a look at it. All right. Okay, here it is, Joe. Which Poirier one are you, Joe? I'm in the... Uh, <laughs> I'm in that colorful Trump. You're the leader. Right. Uh, I thought Jerry was going to quit there once, didn't you? Well, Jerry was cut. He got cut right here, I think, with the right hand. Watch the right hand. I'd bust him wide open. Oh, right. that's it. Right, what a the shot. Right hand bust him open. The way my timing was, uh, Don, I could see everything. I've been getting hell with Ray's back when I dropped my hand, but I kept my balance, and uh, I could really time Jerry real well. Well, oh, listen, uh, now, Foreman, uh, I won't take anything away from George. Do you think he caught you cold in Jamaica, or were you overconfident well, I would, or what? I would say George, a powerful champ. There's no doubt about that. He can hit, but this particular time, whoever the champion, I challenge them, and I'll be ready. That's a promise. Much any, more ready. Do you have any idea who the champ's going to be? Well, it don't make no difference to me as long as Eddie can get their name on that paper. That's